Deja vu, everybody. Welcome back to the Nakayama tutorial. Hiya! Alright, yo, so what's going on, everyone? You guys got the Barakai of the Hidden Games Village. I'm back here today, uh, finally, with the uh, Nakayama tutorial. I actually wasn't going to make this video uh, so soon after the cross tutorial, but so many people kept asking me uh, when I was going to uh, release this. And um, and I felt kind of bad because I did say I would do it, so um, I was always going to do it, but I just kind of bumped it up for you guys. So please uh, show some love to that like button down below, okay? So what is a Nakayama, right? A Nakayama is essentially a back lever uh, to Iron Cross. It's uh, so similar to some of the other cross transitions, this is also ranked D level. Um, and it is fairly challenging, okay? Now, before I go over it, I'm actually gonna, there's a couple different ways that you can perform this skill, okay? So the first method that you guys saw at the very beginning of this video was actually the uh, first way to do it, which is just from a straight up uh, static back lever. And the other method, wait for it, is to do it from a bounce back lever, which is a little bit easier. They're both still technically called Nakayama and they are the same skill. Uh, and so when you're doing the bounce version, you can either do it, you can either bounce out of a planche or a Maltese, or you can bounce out of a cross. Uh, so I'll try to do a bounce one right now. Uh, yeah, so I'll go here. Sort of. Um, okay, yeah, you guys get the picture. Um, okay, that's the bounce version. So, pretty tough skill. Now, I, I hope I don't crush anybody's spirits by saying this, but before you even think about start training this skill, you're gonna need a 10 second plus iron cross hold. Um, I have an iron cross tutorial on the channel, uh, so if you're interested in that, please go watch that. Uh, because that will show you some exercises to safely learn the Iron Cross. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, with this skill, I haven't had any particular injuries with it, but I've heard about a lot of people that have. So to be on the safe side when you're training this, 10 plus seconds of cross, guys. And the thing is, if you go into training the skill with 10 plus seconds of cross already under your belt, you're gonna have such an easy time learning this, seriously. Um, this is all cross strength. Um, so actually, I, I know I'm rambling a lot, um, but if you are capable of holding 10 plus seconds in a deep cross, like I'm demonstrating here, there's a very good chance that you could score a Nakayama on your first try. So really keep that in mind, strong cross is absolutely everything. Okay, so that's exercise number one, iron cross. So I did that Nakayama at the beginning of the video. You guys should know what a cross is. Uh, I'll go ahead, I'll try to demo it real quick. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit this. You guys know I always come at you guys post training, but I will try it for the views. Um, and so I hopefully don't look like a complete idiot. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. So about here, that's where you want to go. Uh, practice, practice, cross. Practice, practice, cross. Big, 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 big. Okay, next. This is one that I did when I was training for. It's a very light exercise, but it can give you a really good feel for the movement, okay? That is sort of like a knee-assisted Nakayama or like Australian Nakayama. Uh, and you can do this on your feet or on your knees. Uh, on your feet, it's going to be a little harder. Um, so you can do that if you want to add a little intensity. but. For me personally, I really would do this one just so I could get a feel for the motion of the Nakayama. So, um, so here you go, you're in a back lever. What I actually like to do before I start, you guys might have noticed mine at the beginning, I will open my chest at the before I'm about to go up to cross so I can initiate a little bit of bounce. So even when I start a static back lever, I still will bounce a little bit on this skill. And I do that by simply opening up my chest. So you're in a back lever, 
your chest is closed, open up a little bit, and then you can catch the bounce. And then, of course, you want to you know, get back into your protraction, internal, internal rotation when you're actually in your cross. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys what some of the knee assisted reps look like. So very simple, you're just back lever. Boom, and you're just going to go ahead and get a feel for it. Um, it's, I know this looks really, really easy. It, it is, but it will give you a feel for the skill um, so you can execute it that way. All right? So exercise number one, like I said, was just strong cross. Exercise number two is the knee assisted Nakayama to get a, to get a feel for the movement. Okay? Up next, we actually have a negative Nakayama. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> So tough. Okay, so th this negative Nakayama, um, you're going cross, back lever, it's it's a negative thing. So <clears throat> let me try. You guys should know what that will look like, but like I said, I'll just go ahead and demo it. <sighs> cross to back lever, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hard. O M G, 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 O M G. It's just like that. I should just consider showing up, but no. Okay, yeah, that's it. I would just do like sets of one of that over time. Just try to do it slower with more control. And yeah, you'll be able to do that. I would seriously just do sets of one. You don't wanna don't want to irritate anything on um, cross training. Okay. Up next, you guys probably did see my band, I don't know where it went. Up next is band assisted Nakayama. Very good one. Once again, I would actually practice both styles of Nakayama. Well, it depends on where your goals are, but I practice both styles of Nakayama with the band. So maybe mess around um, starting it across and then kind of going back lever. Um, and yeah, uh, so keep in mind, guys, you can do this assisted drill with either A, a spotter or B, a dream machine. Both of those would actually probably work a little bit better than with a resistance band, okay? But if you are to do it with a resistance band, you gotta put it around your waist like this. Now this is gonna be really weird because it's gonna feel like you're kinda coming out of the band, but again, this is also kinda just to get a little feel for how to do this, uh, this skill here. So here we go, uh, band assisted Nakayama, I've done Wow, I've done a lot of cross stuff today, man. I uh, am kind of proud of myself because I'm not because I'm actually not in any pain, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, here we go. A cross band assisted Nakayama. One, one. Yeah. All right, you guys get the picture. I'm freaking tired. Uh, so yeah, that is the band assisted. Nakayama, that's actually all there is to practicing the skill. Uh, we've got, like I said, the cross holes, super strong cross hole. Guys, let me tell you right now, there there was one time I tried Nakayama before I had it, and I was just an idiot because I <clears throat> had a super weak cross. So first time I attempted Nakayama, I failed it. Second time I attempted Nakayama in my entire life, I had a 12 second iron cross hold and I was able to do the bounce version on my very first try. So I teched, so I got, so first attempt ever was static, but then bounce Nakayama, starting in Maltese, first try ever, I got it. So strong cross is absolutely everything here, super important. Um, up next, I had the uh, feet assisted, so you can really get a feel for the skill. And then we of course had negatives, always try to go slow. Um, and then we also have the band assisted version of the Nakayama. Um, once again, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, please feel free to comment below any other tutorials that you guys would like to see on the channel. Um, hit me with a nice subscribe to YouTube. So I'm trying to get to 5,000 uh, before the end of the year. So I really appreciate your help with that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.